Welcome back, everybody, to Rogue Love, where we are going to take a look at, you guessed it, another Ang Band variant. This one called Pern Ang Band. I mentioned before why we're taking this route. We had to look at Zang Band, because Pern Ang Band is a variant of Zang Band, a variant of an earlier version than the game we just played, but a variant nonetheless. Um, from Pern Ang Band, uh, this, this game eventually got... Um, Oh, I ran into some trouble, actually, with uh, Anne McCaffrey's estate. Uh, Anne McCaffrey being a, a fantasy writer who wrote about Pern, the Dragon Riders of Pern. Um, and therefore, he uh, abandoned the Dark God, the gentleman who made this, abandoned uh, Pernang Band, and created t uh, Tales of Middle-Earth slash The Troubles of Middle-Earth. You can see that actually kind of in this in the center here. Um, this is a late version of Pernang Band. Um, and then uh, that evolved over time into Tome 2, Tome 3, and then eventually uh, the Tales of Majael. Uh, so this is our path to get there. Um, now, a few things I have to tell you before we proceed. It's going to take me a few minutes, so if you, if you just want to see the game in action, skip ahead across my boring lecture here. Um, but do so at your own peril, because I also start with a warning, and that is we are playing version 5.1.1. I will include a link to where you can get this. Um, if you have the Archive RL, you can get version 5.1.2, which to the best of my knowledge is the final version of Pernang Band that ever came out. Uh, obviously slightly improved version over this, because it's a more advanced version. Um, that said, there is a malware attached to that. I found that out the hard way when I opened the Archive RL's version, um, and it, uh, I was warned by my... Uh, malware detector that, hey, there's malware here. You sure you want to do this? And I was like, yeah. And then there was not a big deal, but I did encounter a few little problems with my uh, computer after that. So don't play version 5.1.2. Play version 5.1.1, which is, as far as I can tell, completely malware free. Having said all that, um, the other things I got to tell you. Um, first of all, what is Pernang Band? It is a variant of Ang Band where the intention was to bring into play. Um, some aspects of Anne McCaffrey's Dragon Riders of Pern books. Um, just like with Zang Band, which was uh, intended to take in uh, Roger Zelazny's Amber universe into the Ang Band world, um, I was really looking forward to this because I thought it would be a total conversion. I had heard about this game for a long time, was super psyched to play it, um, really assuming there would be no references to Middle Earth at all. Uh, it would just be all Ang Band, or rather all Pern, all the time. Uh, that is not the case. There's a few little Pern things here and there. There's uh, some races and classes you can look at. We're going to play those uh, specifically because because we're trying to play the Pern aspects. Um, and undeniably, Ang, the, the, the Ang Band gameplay is different from standard Ang Band. Or even, even different from Zang Band, of course, um, which is different from Ang Band. But uh, it's not all Pern all the time, by any means. It's just got a bit of Pern flavoring to go with all the uh, standard Ang Band flavoring you're used to. Um, the other things I have to tell you, um, I've already played the game twice. I actually re recorded the game twice. Uh, I'm doing it a third time because neither of those games were very long. My, my first character died at character level 2. My second character died at character level 1. Uh, both of these were partially, I mean partly just due to poor playing on my part, undeniably, and bad luck I suppose, but partly due to some problems I see with the game, two different problems. Um, I'll discuss those once we dive in, though. Um, but I, I say this by way of saying the following. I am not going to play Pernang Band a fourth time. If we die at character level one, then ta-da, that was your Pernang Band walkthrough. Uh, I'm not sure how far we'll get, but we're going to give it our best shot. Okay, let me open the actual game proper, and we're going to press a key to proceed. Let me drag this aside. Don't do that. Okay, there we go. Hit a key. Okay, welcome to Pernang Band. To play, you will need a character... Uh, telling you press 8246 to move. You can actually use the entire uh, num law, uh, numpad. You don't need to use just 8246. I'm not sure why it's suggesting that. Uh, return to select. Oh, maybe it means just here. Um, oh, I see. We can actually we can actually uh, cycle through the different, different stuff here. Interesting. All right, we're going to create a new character. A. Enter the name of the save file that will hold this character. Jeff3. I don't know if there's a Jeff1 and 2. There might be. Jeff3. Save file does not exist. That's fine. Save three. Okay, that's fine. Dark God, in collaboration with Eru Ilvatar, Manwi, and all the Pernang Band contributors. <laughs> I don't know why I read this Pang Band. Present Pernang Band. One last thing I want to mention about <clears throat> the Anne McCaffrey situation where 
again, her estate stepped in to the fray here and said, gave, gave as far as I know, a cease and desist order to stop, uh, to stop working on this free game that has passing references to Pern. I'm, I'm not a fan of, of, of that type of legal action for a, for a fan. This is the equivalent of like making a fan video about something, you know, it's making a fan video game about something. It's not like it was being sold. There was no profit here. It was just a big giveaway for free. And I, I, in case Anne McCaffrey's estate ever hears this, here's the deal. Um, I went to Indigo like two weeks ago and picked up my first Pern. I actually had one of the old Pern books on the shelf, but I had like book five or six. I went and bought books one through four at uh, Indigo this past week solely because I'm intrigued by Pernang Band. So don't don't step in like that, man. There's no need to. The, the, you, you, you drum up more sales if you embrace the fandom. There we go. That's my lecture to Anne McCaffrey's estate. Press any key to continue. Please answer the following questions. Most of the questions, blah, 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 blah. Um, choose a sex. We're going to be male. I'm not playing no neuter. Um, now, we can choose anything we want off of here. As you can see, I mentioned the fact that there's obviously still a lot of Tolkien references. You can play an Ent. That's Tolkien. Bjorning, Rohan Knight. These are pure Tolkien. Maya, Tolkien. But Dragon Rider, that's Pernian. So we're going to play a Dragon Rider for the sole reason that you know, I was looking forward to Pernang, man. I wanted to play a freaking dragon rider. So, in the distant system of the star Rookbat orbits the planet Pern, home of the dragon riders. Mounting huge, powerful, but friendly dragons, they are masters of teleportation. Okay. Actually, of teleportation. Let's do R, dragon rider. Um, we can play, choose a race modifier. Um, we can play a classical dude. A hermit, three years of isolation. Hermits can manage to increase their mana reserves, but at the cost of an increased physical weakness. Corrupted, infused with the corruption of Morgoth, these unfortunates randomly gain and lose corruptions as they gain experience. Or lost soul. In some very rare cases, souls can come back from the halls of Mandos. Um, I'm not sure if these options are presented everything. I, I On my first two tries, I played a Dragon Rider each time. I assumed it was for Dragon Riders, but now that I, I look at it, I wonder if this is like... You could apply these modifiers to any race, which is definitely different than... Uh, than any other version of Angband I've seen, including Zangband, so that's kind of cool. One moment. It's dry in here, and I need to hydrate. All right. We're going to play classical, though. <clears throat> okay. Choose a class type. Um, I think we're going to try Beast Friends. I mean, look, there's a bunch of different things here, but Fighters we've seen a million of, Spellcasters we've seen a million of. Um, others might be interesting, but uh, Fighters, Spellcasters, and Priests are very standard fare in Angband as a, a general rule. Beast Friends? I've never heard of that in Angband, so fuck it, that's what we're going for. Beast Friends. Choose a class. We're going to play a Beast Master. Why? Well, I don't know why. <laughs> Summoner can conjure up stuff, that's kind of cool. Uh, but I don't feel like playing a mage. We just played a mage in uh, Zangband. I like to play something that has some fighterly aspects. A Beast Master is a warrior, I like that, that chose to make peace with some monsters. He can thus summon them at will when in need. That's cool. Um, I'll tell you something weird, is that uh, I like playing warrior types in roguelikes, but in standard RPGs, I always play a mage. Like, pure-ass mage. Just weird. Uh, we don't want to play Possessor in that because there are a lot of um, Angband variants coming up that deal very specifically with the Possessor class. Uh, Pos, Pos Chang Band and Pos Band and all these. Um, I'm not, also not sure why these are in brackets, so I don't feel like messing with them. Let's play Beastmaster. You can choose to worship a god. Some class must start with a god. If a god is a god name is in green, it means a race is favored by him or her. Nobody favors me in life or in this game. Um, I took this last time, and I'm going to take it again for no reason other than that's what happened. Tillian. Vala of the Moon, whose followers need fear neither dark nor the creatures that dwell in it. Considering we're going to spend a lot of time in the dark, that sounds good to me on the surface. You can also worship the... Uh, these are all, incidentally, I think... Um, I think Middle-Earth gods. Iluvatar certainly is a reference to Middle-Earth. Hell, so is Melkor. Actually, it says right here, yes, this is Morgoth, the guy you're spending the entire game trying to whack. But you can still worship him. He grants, sustains, and protects his followers from several dark powers. I think it's kind of hilarious. But again, I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm disappointed so far with the, with the, um, the conversions we've seen, Zangband and Pernangband, that they didn't truly convert. I'm hoping when we get to Cthangband, it's all Cthulhu. All the time. And no fucking white worm masses and no fucking goblins or anything, you know? We'll see, though. Tillion. All right, you radiate silver light. Uh, it gives us a random name, as you can see here. Akakan. Um, I like that name. I think. It's random. 
You radiate silver light more. Please answer the following questions. Most of the questions display us. Okay, whatever. Do you want to modify the options? N no. Please input the number of optional quests you'd like to perform. If you do not want any optional quests, enter zero. Now, here's the thing. Um, we played Zangban, and I mentioned that I'd read the rules, and the rules mentioned all these optional quests. I think by the final version of Zangban that we played, 2.7.5 or whatever it was, they had actually removed the optional quests from the game. Um, but Pernangban is a branch off of an earlier version of Zangband. Um, and here they've got the option, so why don't we take them? Um, it's suggesting 20 as like a default. I was going to put in like 99 or 98, but uh, you know what? 20 is fine. Let's just take it the default that's presented. All right. Um, when you're setting up your character here, uh, I, I still prefer the old Moria where you just have to press space and accept it and until, you, until you see a, a character build you like. I like the fact that it forces you to work for it, but um, we're going to do this. Um, you enter uh, minimal, you know, you enter attributes that you'd, you'd accept in this, and then it rolls a whole bunch of times and gives you the closest it's got to it. Um, so let's take, uh, we, won't, we won't accept less than 18 strength, allegedly, not 182. 182 strength, give it to me. Let's hit enter. Uh, intelligence, I will settle for as low as 12. Wisdom, I will settle for uh, as low as, saying max 5? Like, I'm not allowed to have more than five? That's fucked up. Um, I don't know if that's true. Let's say ten. Nope. Let's say six. Nope. Five. Let's say five. Uh, we're, we're apparently not going to be very wise. Um, dexterity. Um, let's say... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Unfortunately, I pressed... There we go. Press space. Okay, I'll say 17 for that. I'll say 18 constitution. And let's say we won't take less than 14 charisma. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. Here's what it gave us. Uh, 18 slash 20 strength, 16 intelligence, wisdom 5, dexterity 17, constitution 18, charisma 1850. Fine. We're character level 1. We need 42 experience to advance, I guess, as a dragon rider beastmaster. We have tribal magic, whatever the fuck that is. Um, we have to hit plus 3, to damage plus 3, plus 1 to our armor class. 16 hit points, current hit points 16. Um, as you can see, our fighting is very good. Saving throws are very good, despite that shitty wisdom, really. That's surprising. Our bows and throwing is poor. Our stealth is bad. Our perception is good. Searching, excellent. Disarming, fair. Magic device, very good. A lot of this stuff is standard fair you'd see in Angband as a as a rule. We're not going to re-roll. Let's take that. Um, weapon damage for round is 3 right now. Tactic, normal. Explore, normal. Don't know what that means. Social class of 73. Started with 100 gold, though, one way or the other. I've always started with 100 gold whenever I've played this game, so I don't know if social class enters much into it now. You are one of several children of a dragon rider. You have a gold dragon. I have yet to see evidence of the fact that I own a dragon, but uh, I will take your word for it. And hit escape. Enter your player's name above. Um, you know, I was going to accept Akakan, because it's random. But as I said, I've started reading... I've started reading the Dragon Rider series, and the Dragon Riders in there always have these weird names. So we're going to go with uh, Flef, which is a... a combination of Jeff and, like, Flar, which is one of their character names, or Fnor. They have weird names like that. Flef is our character's name. And I think that's awesome. Uh, escape to continue. Okay, here we go. Um, now I know you're taking one look at this and being like, holy shit, dude, turn off the tiles. And I will do so for now. I will do so because I frankly agree with you. I prefer not to use tiles. But I am warning you right now, we probably will end up using tiles, and you'll see why shortly. For now, though, to let you find that out for yourself. Let's go with ASCII text. Okay, not the most beautiful here. And right off the bat, actually, I can, I can point out a bit of what is what is the problem with the ASCII mode in this game. Um, it may not seem like much of a problem now. It may feel like a cosmetic uh, issue only. It's not. It actually is a, a, a gameplay issue. And that is that the floors are not represented by periods. They're just black space. It makes it very impossible to tell where things are in relation to you, how far they are away from you. Um, one of my characters died because I was trying to flee through a dungeon, and it became just too hard to tell where corridors were and where they ended and this kind of thing in, in, the, in the construct of this dungeon. It was, it was actually really difficult to maneuver, and I got cornered and died. Um, <clears throat> the other problem I had was nothing to do with that, but let's, let's, let's accept for a second that we're going to use this briefly. Probably not for long. 
Now, again, as I've said in any other Angband variants I've been playing, I am not going to take the time to explain all the rules of Angband. Um, there is an Angband video up, or a series of Angband videos. Even better, there's a series of Moria videos, which takes you back even further. There's 158 of those. If you want to learn how to play Moria or you want to learn how to play Angband, I suggest you start with those. I may cover some of the basics as we go just because it gives me something to talk about, but I'm not going to go out of my way to explain what the hell is going on in terms of Angband general gameplay. Um, so forewarned is forearm. Look at my eye for inventory. What do we got? We have this spell book. Um, we can take a look at that. Five rations of food, a ring of sustained charisma. I guess we'll put that on. Uh, a fur cloak, a whip, which is one to six damage apparently. An adventurer's guide to Middle Earth. We're going to take a look at that too. Um, let's start by wearing some stuff. Let's wear our... Let's wear our fur cloak. So our arm class is now what, four? Yep. Let's wear... Okay, let's wield our whip. Let's wear our ring of sustained charisma. And what else do we need to do? Anything? I don't know what this TP is. Oh, tribal points, maybe? I don't know. Let's uh, let's look at our book. B for browse. Tribal spell book. So apparently we have to be character level 3 before we gain access to any spells. So this is not anything we have to worry about for now. We'll just carry the book for now and... When we gain access, we'll gain access. Until then, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, what else do we know here? We have a... How do we... Uh, oh, fuck me. List of commands. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I just want a list. I want a literal list. Okay, here we go. How do we... we, we I want to look at that adventurer's guide. Is it read? Maybe? R for read? Browse didn't bring it up as an option. I thought it would. Observe an item. I, maybe. Capital I. Read a scroll. All right, let's uh, let's assume... Let's try this. Oops, my damn cat wants back in. There you go, love. All right, shift I. Examine which item. D. It's parchment. It can contain uh, useless, useful information or useless junk. You need to identify the item to more, know more about it. Do I really? I don't think I do. Let's read. Let's read the Adventurer's Guide to Middle Earth. Kiri, calm down. What do you want? I'm the Beastmaster. You have to do what I say. All right. Oh, Adventurer's Guide to Middle Earth. Okay. Okay. Um, there's a lot of information here. I'll tell you what. I'm going to put this in my house for now. How oh, should I read it through it? Fuck it. You're here. You're going to want to know this as well. Middle Earth is vast, mysterious, full of dangers, but also full of rewards for the brave. New adventurers should know that pressing greater than less than can switch the wilderness view between a normal scale and a larger map. Did not know that. Okay. This makes traveling safer and faster, but you can't enter wilderness dungeons from it. Okay. We'll try that in a minute. Only in wilderness, apparently. The towns. You start in a small village named Bree. True. In the western part of Middle Earth. Uh, here you will also find the entrance to the Barrow Downs, a fairly safe and simple dungeon. Pfft. I died there twice. Or at least en route there. When the barrel downs become too easy for you, like that'll be the day, and Bree too small, you might consider going to Lothlorien, the land of Galadriel. Note that you should take a lot of food with you, for it is a long journey. You'll have to head southeast following the Moria Mountains chain, then walk around the forest of Fangorn to head north to finally find your destination. The forest of Mirkwood, another dungeon, can be found to the northeast of Lothlorien. If you survive this dangerous dungeon, you should head south, following the Anduin River. There, near the dark land of Mordor, you will find the great town of Gondor, Minas Anor. From there, you want to pay a visit to the land of Mordor, which is east of Minas Anor. After Mordor, you should finally travel to Gondolin, the hidden town of the Noldor. First, go back to Bree, then from there, walk northeast, and you will find it. From this city, you will be able to attack Angband, the dungeon of Morgoth, which is northwest, west of Gondolin. Now, one thing I, I think it's... I, having just played Zangban, I, I gotta admit I'm a bit confused in some of the information I learned playing per Zangban because I played it like two weeks ago, um, and and Zangban, but I'm pretty sure the following is true. Uh, there are multiple dungeons now. Um, that was somewhat true in Zangban too. I think they're divided into like this, like that. Well, as you can see here, it's telling us to start at the Barrow Downs. Like they're divided into easy, you know, and harder and harder dungeons. Um, there are also some bonus dungeons that have nothing to do with the main story, I guess. But uh, from what I read but are out there. You might want to explore them if you want to. 
Let's keep reading this. The old forest to the west is the last remains of the big forests of the first age, but it has been corrupted. It is said to be guarded by a living tree. You may also wish to investigate the orc caves north of Bree. They are another place suitable for those finished with the Barrow Downs. They also are rumored to hold great mysteries. Okay, we'll head there after the Barrow Downs, assuming we survive the Barrow Downs. The maze. To the south of Bree, there is a magical maze. Many adventurers that ventured there never came back. It is rumored that a minotaur is lurking down there, guarding an ancient and powerful artifact. Bring along digging equipment and some means to recall. The Balrog of Moria guards the caves of Moria to the southeast of Bree. During the Second Age of the World, there was a great island called Numenor. The people who dwelt there were wise and powerful, but as time passed, their last kings fell under the power of Sauron. Under Sauron's orders, they tried to attack Valinor, the Blessed Land, and for this, Numenor was destroyed, swallowed by the sea. The runes are still accessible, spelled weirdly, far out to sea to the west of Bree. That kind of rhymed. Many other strange places to wait to be explored by the Valiant Adventurer, but their locations are secret. You'll have to find them for yourself. Equipment issues. Beware, Adventurer. If you plan to go down in the dungeons, be prepared. Some items you will need badly. First, think of some light. Maybe a lantern is better than the torches. Second, things to mention are your combat equipment. Sometimes the weapon and armor you got from your mentor are not enough for the nasties inside the dungeons. And third, and most important, always carry a shovel or other digging with you because there is much rubble in the dungeons which you cannot clear with your hands. Okay, I didn't read that last time. It got stolen from me before I could read it. The first thing we're going to do is go to my house. We're going to drop that in there so we don't lose it. If I need to examine it later, we'll have it. Let's drop the Adventurer's Guide to Middle-Earth. All right, we have only 100 gold. Um, what are the different stores here? Uh, we have the entrance to the general store is one. Armory. This would be the weaponsmith. Temple. So a lot of this is standard Angband fare. Alchemy shop. Up till there is definitely standard. What is seven? Black market, that's standard as well. But you can see we have a few new things. We have nine up here. An unknown symbol. I'm not sure what that is. There's also this store, you know, to my east that has a blue door. There's some stuff to the north that has a couple of doors. There's like a bunch of stuff that's not normal. So let's take a look at it. Village idiot, we're not afraid of him. Let's just find out what's in here. Is this still just the standard one? Is this like a, another door that entered into the same place? All food here. Strips of venison. That's interesting. Entire inventory shown. Leave me alone, village idiot. Yeah, leave me alone, dude. All right, it looks like maybe it's pure food next door, and here's uh, you know, other stuff. We do need a shovel. Let's purchase that right at the... Well, fuck, is that ever going to take a lot of money from us, eh? Nonetheless, purchase F. Quantity 1. Buying a shovel. Oh, is it plus 1? Eh, what am I going to do? You quickly regroup on the price. Final offer? Yeah, 68. Okay. So there's no haggling, which is awesome. I don't feel like haggling. Uh, let's do the usual inscribe. Inscribe. Let's look at our equipment. Let's inscribe our whip with at wield one. Let's inscribe our shovel with at wield two. And let's just test to make sure this worked. Wield two. Yep. Wield one. Ah, fuck off. Wield one. What's going on? Equipment. We are wielding a whip. We are using a sho using a shovel. Oh, maybe you can just have something permanently in a use slot. That's new if it's true in Pernangben. That'd be a nice, convenient um, change of pace. Never seen that before. Okay. And we don't need the outwield two crap. All right. We've got a shovel in our use slot. That's new. We don't have a lot of money left, unfortunately. Let's see what else is out here. Sparrow eggs. That's interesting. I wonder what the hell those are about. Can we examine something? Let's examine a sparrow egg. Eggs are laid by some monsters. They hatch in your inventory. The monster will be your friend. I can get a sparrow. It can be activated for stop or resume the egg development if it is being worn. Hmm. All right, we're not going to get anything. It seems to be a pet shop, maybe. Will you fuck off, idiot? Literal idiot. What's up here? The Matham House. Don't know what that's about. But in here... Oh, fuck me. We can get Lace... Ra Lace Legends. Race Legends or a quest. Let's get a quest. Thieves. Danger level 5. There are thieves robbing my people. They live in a small burrow outside the city walls, robbing people as they pass on the roads. They even sneak inside the town to mug and pillage. Your task is to go to the burrow and kill these ruffians. Well, okay, well, let's, let's get it. 
Did we get that? How do we look at our quests? We're not going to do that right now. It has a danger level 5, but... Oh, my. Do you see anything about it? Is it J for journal, maybe? No, I see J is... Capital J is unused. Huh. All right, man. Well, it is what it is. We'll, we'll worry about that a little later. We're not going there now anyway, on account of um, we'll get killed. Farmer Maggot asks for your help. Where's Farmer Maggot? Is that him? Let's go talk to him. Is it Y for chat? Sorry, we keep doing that. I wish the, wish the list of commands would just instantly bring up the list of commands rather than have me scroll down through a ton of crap that I don't care about right now. I think it's Y for chat. Is that right? Y is give an item to a monster. No, capital Y, no. Uh, well, capital Y is either chat or version info, but uh, we're going to try it for chat. Shift Y to the east. My mushrooms, my mushrooms. The rain, a horrible dark rain began, so I had to return to my home. But when I came back, my dogs were all mad and didn't let me near the field. Could you please bring me back all the mushrooms that have grown in my field? To the west of Bree with a small B. Please try not to harm my dogs. They are so lovely. Um, incidentally, that is the reason my second character died. I got that quest from him, and then I encountered one of his dogs out there, and I thought, hey, this will be different than normal. They're nice dogs now. Of course they weren't, and it uh, got the drop on me, and although I put some dents in it, it killed me before I could kill it. So, Can we afford any more armor? Because we are... I don't want to. I don't want to die that early. We have how much left? Uh, 32 gold. We do not have much, but we could get a hard leather cap and hard leather boots. Let's get both those things. Let's purchase I. One. Let's purchase J. One. All right, good enough. Let's put this stuff on. Wield. Hard leather cap. Wield. A pair of hard leather boots. All right. Let's uh, let's head west of town, which is where the uh, Barrow Downs are, and where he said his fields are, right? Can we talk to him a second time? Will he tell us any more? What the hell is this? Tree. You still have 14 mushrooms to give back. Beggar, go away. I'm pretty sure he said go west. All right, wish me luck. I'm also going to try shift U to see. Um, select a power. A through E. Plus or minus to scroll. Let's try the asterisk. Okay. We have these powers, apparently. Level zero. We can summon monsters. Dragon's powers. Hypnotize pet. Awaken hypnotize pet. Turn pet into companion. And uh, perhaps, I don't know what those fail things are. You have to have at least strength zero. And charisma ten, maybe, to do it. And mana ten. We can't do the final one, for sure. We either have 9 mana, I'm seeing SN 9 slash 9, or we have 4 out of 5 mana. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know, man. We'll try We'll, we'll try and remember we have those if we get into combat again, because I found the creatures here also very, very deadly. <clears throat> what is that? Singing Happy Drunk. I'm not going to bother you. It also mentioned, um, incidentally, if you kill innocents in the town... Um, there are consequences, like the, the gods get kind of mad at you and stuff, so try not to do it in this game, as opposed to some of the other ones. Some of the other ones, you can kind of do it carefree, just kill them if you feel like killing them. In this game, don't do it. Maybe we'll try heading down to the Barrow Downs right off the bat, just to get a bit of experience in gold. Come on, we hear frenzied barking, so I fucking think his... Those dogs are out here, anyway. I'm not gonna. I'm going to ignore them for now and try to go down in the dungeon. There's a way down to the Barrow Downs. You enter a maze of down staircases. You go into a, a way to the Barrow Downs. Looks like any other level. Now, as you can see right off the bat, I mean, let me try and move. Without the dots to show you where the floors are, it becomes really hard to tell. Some of the walls as well are these little triangles. Those are not traps. That's just like, I don't know, can we look at it? We can't look at it. It's just like cavernous wall. Um, so it's, when I was trying to flee before, when my character was almost dead... I couldn't find my way out because I'm like, I can't tell what's what's hallway and what's like part of a graphic and stuff. You need to use those periods. 
I mean, can we see this whole room? I guess we can see across it, so presumably, I guess, but I don't know. It's, it's just confusing shit. A white worm mask. Those be, if there's standard fare, I imagine we can kill that. If we can't, we're in big trouble. I hit it. It crawls on me, but I'm poisoned. Okay, so be it. It was a good hit. You hit the white worm mask. You destroyed the white worm mask. You are no longer poisoned. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's do the usual rest. Here in the barrel downs. What is this? Now I can't even tell. What's this? Um, let's try tunneling it up. Nope. I don't know what those. I don't know what the semicolons are. You failed to pick the lock. Keep trying. See what I'm saying? Like this hallway is. Is there a space to my north? Can I go north? Of course not. I can see because I understand having just walked in this hallway, but it's kind of confusing. Use the period. I wonder if, wonder if there's a way to uh, turn that on. Let's, let's look and see. Maybe there is. If there is, I, I can stick with the ASCII, no problem. Gameplay options. Do you see anything about display options? User interface. We can try that. Let's take a look at the user interface options first of all. Roguelike command now. Activate quick messages. Prompt for various information. Use old target by default. Uh, probably going to say that's yes. I'll put that to now. I'll put that on right now. Pick things up by default, no. Prompt for picking up hedgy objects, okay, whatever. Repeat obvious commands. Show level dungeon and feet. I don't really care. Merge inscriptions in a stack and show labels and object listings. We're not using any sub windows. Let's put on the uh, audible bell on errors. Let's keep color. Okay, let's try um, gameplay. Auto haggle's fine. Auto scum. Wait, so we could turn that off. I, I don't want it though. Auto scum for good levels. I don't love that. I'll be honest. I hate that aspect. It seems to be standard, so I guess maybe we leave it on, but I, I hate that. Uh, I don't even agree with the idea of scumming. I don't think that's a. It's part of Angbam, but it's part I don't like. Allow weapons and armor to stack. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Map removal, all permanently. Generate dungeons aligned. I'm not going to mess with any of the gameplay stuff, really, because I'm afraid to uh, mess up what the game is supposed to be. You know? We're trying to find out what this game is like. I, I, it's important to look at the uh, defaults, I think. Huh. Use special colors for floor grids. Let's say yes. Maybe that's what I really need. Say wall grids, too. What the fuck? And even viewable and torch lit and center on us. Okay. That didn't really help us, did it? Did it? I still can't see what the fuck the floors are. <laughs> I don't know why that. I don't know what those color things are doing for us. I mean, here you can see a little bit around us, but we can't. We still can't see the floors. It's a problem, sir. We've been going past the half hour mark. I'm going to keep going a few more minutes only. And then we're going to call this episode one. I might drop down to a one episode a day for a bit. I'm not sure. If you notice this is the only video that went up today, then that's what I've done. Um, I do have to rest my uh, my arms a bit, having been doing a lot more uh, stuff. The liquid here seems magical. Do we think it's a fountain? It is. Let's look and see what our options are. How do, you, how do we use a fountain? Uh, list of commands. Something about a fountain, I saw this. Um, drink from a fountain is capital H. Let's try it. Oh, i got to be on it, apparently. Do you want to quaff from the fountain? Yes. You're confused. Oh, wow, everything looks so cosmic now. I guess I'm just confused. Let's just pause until it's uh, gone. There we go. Can we tell what it is now? Is it still to say fountain? You're on something strange. I'm on something strange? What? Oh, still? It's not gone yet. You're on something strange. What the fuck? Still. I'm going to go back out of the dungeon for a minute because uh, we're stoned or something. What the fuck? It did say confused at the bottom, but that disappeared. I assume. Well, maybe I'm not going to go out. Let's just keep going a bit. I got to admit, I, find, I mean, there's some, there's some intriguing stuff going on here. We found fountains. You can't find those in, in standard... Uh, 
I can see clearly again, okay, in standard Angband and stuff, but the graphical setup here is really rough, and uh, some of the gameplay stuff is just confusing to, to my mind so far. I haven't given it much of a fair shake, very clearly. But I am funny, of, of all the Angband variants we've looked at so far, and this is only the third variant, let's count Angband, that's the fourth, and if you count Moria, this is the fifth Moria version, I guess, variant we've looked at. Let's take that. Um, this is one I'm finding most confusing. It's maybe a slightly long video. I just feel like continuing playing for a few minutes, so bear with me if you're enjoying. Can we shut those, by the way? Is that just... The door appears to be broken. Okay. Hard stone blocking our way. Let's just dodge that. Come into here. What is that? It's a um, gray mold. Okay, we should be able to take it as far as I remember from the past. All right, easy enough. We still need how much? We have six. Let's change that one That one option. Um, again, uh, user interface maybe? Uh, we want to show how much experience is left before we level up, or you know, how much we still need. Use old target to pick things up. Uh, gameplay or efficiency, maybe. Let's do a quick look here, guys. Nope. Gameplay. Expand the power of the look command. I wonder what that does. I don't even see it, guys. Maybe it doesn't exist in this. Oh well, let's just keep going. Oh, not over here. Whoa, what's that? You're too afraid to attack the spectral rock lizard. That's an interesting monster. The spectral rock lizard bites you. You fear your life draining away. Holy fuck, we're on fucking. It got all our experience. Let's try casting. The spectral rock lizard casts a fearful illusion. We are afraid. Can we cast anything? Can we use a power? Let's try summon monsters. I assume that's our friend, right? Snaga Archer, pet. Kill him, my precious. Oh, he didn't do it. Did he? Use. A. And we got a jelly. Welcome to level two. You can learn one more spell. Okay, I think I think my guy killed him, and that gave us enough to, to level up. That's all right. Maybe this is a good place to stop it. What, what, why am I a five? What's this five about? Maybe it's showing I have some damage on me or something? Let's try and gain a spell by shifting shift G. You can gain one more spell, study which book. I don't think we can, really. No, I, I can't actually learn anything yet. Um, unless I can get a different spell book. It now says I have spell point zero out of three, SP. Interesting, I don't know what the SN and the TP is for. If anybody else knows what these things are, tell me. I'm going to rest right here. And then I'm going to call it quits for now. Let's do one last thing, though. Let's look at... Uh... I mean, Summon Monsters seems pretty fucking powerful, doesn't it? Like, maybe a little too powerful? I don't know. Is it, am I only allowed to do it, say, 48 times in the whole game? Is that what that's saying? What did it say before? Was it 48 before? I'll have to look at the video and figure it out. It does say study, but we can't learn anything in any book that we have yet. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. Our TP went up to 10. 4 out of 10 instead of 4 out of 5. Don't know what that is. Spell points is up to 3. I assume we use spell points to cast our spells. I assume tribal is all we get. Because it does say that here, right? Right? We're gonna, sorry, we want to shift C. Somewhere in here it said magic tribal. I remember pointing that out to you. There it is, magic tribal. So I'm assuming our tribal spell book is, uh, is what we need. We just, we're not at third level yet. All right, I'm going to call it quits right there. Um, we do have this interesting jelly. Uh, or large gray snake, pardon me. A level four snake. That's interesting, too. In, in Angband and stuff, a large gray snake is a large gray snake. In this, it's a large gray snake that is level four. So there are more powerful versions of the same monster, which may get confusing. I don't know. But at least it's a pet and not a terrible monster that's going to fight us. Actually, I do see something I want to pick up really quick, and then we'll call it quits. 
There's a snag of cor- corpse. You don't suppose we don't have a, maybe we don't have a, maybe we don't have our light on. That's why I can't see anything. Let's get this. Instead of all the gloves, yeah, let's get that and let's wear them. Wear E. I also want to do something really quickly. Do we have any torches? Are we even using one? Wield D. It doesn't seem to have made a difference though, does it? I'm not sure it made a difference at all. Equipment. Light source is wooden torch, but uh, I can see as much as I can see before as far as I can tell. Ah, whatevs. All right, I'm going to call it quits here, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I'll be back uh, probably tomorrow with another Pernang Band video. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you then. Bye.